very excited for for Jack State. I think uh, you know everybody, especially our coaches and our, our players, were were excited to go to the, go to their place. And uh, I don't think we gave it. They don't. They didn't see our best shot uh, at home. So uh, uh, we're really excited to go and uh, show who we really are. And uh, as far as uh, uh, his uh, last two wins, I think uh, very good for us. Kind of just showing, uh, kind of putting like the, not putting the league on notice, but showing like giving like. This is who Liberty is. Like this is uh, like we want to show good basketball whenever we step on the court. And I thought I thought we did these last, these last two games. How much did those two wins even help you guys yourselves? Just to say, okay, <coughs> playing the way we play and doing what we want to do, it can result in 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 the wins that we're looking for as well. Uh, no, for sure. I think I think uh, even the Louisiana Tech game, uh, even though even though we lost, I think. Uh, we kind of got back to Liberty basketball. I think Louisiana Tech uh, definitely at their place. Uh, they were really good, and uh, I thought I thought they deserved to win that game. I thought we made a couple of mistakes, but uh, but even these last three games, I thought uh, were, were really good for us. Can you come a little closer to the mic? Got you, guys. Yes. Thanks. Appreciate it. What's the value of having a full week to prepare for Jack State, much like they had when they played you here earlier? Uh, no, for sure. I think I think. Uh, um, like every uh, lead up to a game, and you know, it's always it's always intense. But uh, you get to actually like uh, dive in uh, to to film, and uh, you know they're knowing uh, knowing their personnel, so that's uh, really big. Joseph, what's it? Uh, you know, where's it come from? You know, being you know, so you locked in on defense, and, and you pride yourself on that. Uh, where where that come from? Is that you know something you've always had, or just how your career's panned out? Uh, no, it's something I've always had, even uh, since I was a little kid. I think. Uh, uh, I had an older brother, you know, four years older than me, and a, a very gifted uh, offensive player. You know, go, uh, growing up uh, playing against him, uh, I was on defense a lot. <laughs> you know, uh, make it take it. So, you know, I had to I had to learn how to uh, to be a gifted defender, and I think it's just just who I am. Like as a as a competitor, I want to win the game, and um, you know, from a small town from Midland, Texas, when you go to those uh, those big states in Dallas and Houston, uh, I might not be in the same. Uh, talent pool that I've seen in, in Midland in West Texas so like I think I just had to uh, be uh, different in that in that category so and you look at guys like you know Darius McGee and, and now Kyle Rook and, mm -hmm. and guys like that they score a lot of points right and, not for sure and uh, it's natural for, for the media and the fans to, to give them a lot of praise uh, how, how do you deal with or grapple with you know maybe not being uh, in the headlines every, after every game for, for what you've done on the court? Uh, I don't know, for, uh, for sure. I think uh, I've, uh, in my career in, in AAU and high school, I've I, I played different different roles. You know, high school, I, uh, I was that guy. I've always uh, wanted to win the game and wanting to do whatever I have to do to win the game. High school was different. I, I had to score. AAU, um, played on played on a team with several, several stars, several five-star, four-star guys. So, um, Kind of had to do the same thing I'm doing here, just um, be someone that uh, wins the game. And uh, as long as we're winning the game, I'm, I'm not really too worried about praise or anything like that. Does it feel like when you it, it almost looks this way. I don't know if it feels like to you, but like when you're near the brim, you're almost better at finishing when there's some contact in there. Like, how do you absorb that and, and still find a way to finish? Uh, I don't know for sure. I think uh, this year just uh, been doing a lot of uh, finishing work and then Obviously, you know when I uh, like uh, uh, like my guy said, uh, don't don't get a lot of chances to score. So when I get the ball, I'm I'm I'm, I'm finishing it. So <laughs> that's how that's how it goes. You're talking about your brother, and he's now here with you. And, and what's that been like the last you know couple of weeks? Uh, that's been a huge blessing. Uh, like I said, we're we're four years apart, so we we really didn't really get to connect at a, at a younger age. Uh, by the time I was I got old enough to actually you know be around him and. Uh, you know, have common interests. He he went off to college, so uh, just having him here and you know him getting uh, to work with me and uh, develop my game. And so it's always nice to have a family around that uh, supports you in a in a different way than uh, a team would. So uh, that's just been great for me. And is there, you know, you, you look at that in the last couple of weeks he's been here. How much you know he got to play in college and then mm -hmm. pro as well. How much did? You know, what does he say to you? You know, how much do you ask him? Pick his brain about, you know, his experiences and what he's gone through. Uh, just the uh, intensity uh, that he has, and just uh, uh, the detail uh, as in is just the worth ethic uh, that uh, I've had to uh, uh, get used to. Uh, obviously, like 
uh, he's someone that's uh, worked hard his whole life, so kind of having him here and uh, pushing me to, to do the same uh, has been big for me and uh, has helped the team as well. How frequently, frequently do your parents get to travel to games? I know Texas is a long ways away. Uh, no, for sure. Uh, uh, they're they're very excited to be in a uh, Tech Conference USA. Uh, obviously, we've got a got a lot of Texas trips in there. Uh, they they uh, had my family come down to uh, Louisiana. Uh, at Louisiana Tech. That was the first time my uh, my dad's side of the family from Louisiana got to see me play. So uh, they're every any anything under ten hours they're gonna make. So so that's uh, that's very big for us. Uh, obviously, this league is uh, very athletic, very uh, very long. Uh, you look at all the teams; they they look the same. You know, what I'm saying they're. Uh, um, I think it's from the difference between uh, Conference USA and the the A Sun is just uh, every night you have to you have to give your best shot. I think in the A Sun there was no no diss in the A Sun, but there was there was a bottom, and that you might not have had to give your your very best effort, but. And in, in this league, there, there's no bottom. Every every game is, is a losable game if you don't play well. So I think uh, you have to give your very best shot. Even uh, and the guard play is, is big for us in that area. Do you feel like it's been hard? Obviously, it's more difficult to win on the road. Do you think mm -hmm. that there's been an added pressure for you guys to win these next or get a couple of these next few games on the road? And how do you manage that mm -hmm. pressure? I don't know. I would say. Uh, Extra pressure. I, uh, I think there would be. Uh, we we've, we've been highlighting the word urgency. I think uh, you know, like like Coach always says, like if uh, if there's a championship, uh, we want to win it. And I think, uh, and that goes in every game. Like we have a belief in a uh, in a standard of a winning. So like when we when we go on the court, we want to win, and and when we don't, uh, it's, it's I say frustrating. But you know, that's 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 the sport. You know, there's there's winners and losers. Um, but uh, when we step on the court, we want to win. So uh, I think there's an urgency, urgency in that. Kind of piggybacking off that a little bit. If you guys can go steal two of the next three on the road, do you feel like you're right back where you want to be? Uh, oh no, for sure. I think uh, I think as long as long as the people in the room like we have we have a belief in, in who we are, and that's uh, playing Liberty basketball. I think we're good. I think we're good right now. Whether Obviously, we, we want to win, but I think uh, the energy and the belief in the room right now is really good. So, has the confidence wavered at all? Uh, uh, the first two first two games, you know, lose, uh, first three games losing uh, was was different for us. Like I said, we're uh, we're accustomed to to winning, so I don't think uh, we would say wavered. We we're frustrated uh, and kind of uh, um, you know. When you when you don't have a winning, uh, you don't have a, a dub in the winning column, you know. Obviously, you uh, you there tends to be a little doubt. But uh, I think our coaches and uh, a lot of our players, we've done a great job in these uh, these last couple of days to kind of reinstall who we are and uh, having a belief in that we're uh, we're good enough to win any league. So, in addition to yourself, who else has led the way as far as players that have kept the right attitude? Uh, obviously, uh, Kyle Rowe. I think he's just a he's just a leader through and through. Like uh, we call him Cap for a reason. That's a, that's his nickname. I think uh, just uh, how seasoned he is and uh, the, all the experience he's had and, and going to see these games with winnings and losses. Uh, he just has a, a way of leading that uh, when he's on the court, uh, you're comfortable. So.